new video today. Might be asking, I hate living on a main road because of that. The cars are so annoying. Why is he holding an angle grinder? Well, in today's video, you're gonna find out because new mod has been added to the ZL1. If you can guess it, put it in the comments. I bet you can. Why would I need an angle grinder? I bet you can. But if you can, put a comment. Now let's get to the video. Now, if you watched last video, uh, there was a piece in that video that may have gave away a hint of what the next mod would be. And it's kind of crazy how the world works because as soon as I said that, about two hours later, I got a message talking about what we got. Saying, hey, they're available if you want them. Here's the price. So I left work. Went straight there, got the product, brought it home, made sure it fit. It's money, I promise you, here it is. Now before I show you, we need to, we need to talk about something real quick. This car is not done. For all the people in the comments asking what's the build, it's what's the build up to this point. We still have a lot to do. But for the mod, I got some Ford Star F14s, baby. And you know we got the sticky mickeys in the back. So these are a 17 by 10 on a uh, 305 45 17. And then these bad boys are 18 by five on the Roadmasters skinnies. These things look so good. Now, if you watch that video, you know that this was not even on the table. Um, what I wanted was the six gen Z01 wheels either the regular ones or the one LE wheels, but I wanted the OEM wheel. I didn't want any reps. I know there's a thousand reps out there. I didn't want any reps. I wanted the real ones. And for the price people are asking, it's kind of not worth it. So when this deal came about, I had to jump on it. I got a pretty good deal on these with wheels and tires, everything. And they fit pretty good, but why I have to use the angle grinder is in the rear, there's a tie rod bolt that goes down that hooks up to the sway bar, or I guess it'd be the sway bar end link, but it goes right into the wheel well, very, very close. So I gotta tighten that tie rod all the way up and then I'm gonna shave the bolt down to make sure it fits. I'm gonna see if I can get a good glimpse of it, but it's tight. Like it's probably the closest I've ever had a wheel to rubbing in my life. As always, oh, as always, can't see it with the car on the ground. So in the next clip, I'm gonna get the car jacked up. Uh, it's probably gonna be tomorrow, honestly, but I'll get the car jacked up. I'll show you which bolt I'm talking about and the process that I'm gonna do to get these 17 by 10s to fit. You can drive it on the car fine, um, but I'm a little skeptical. I think it might start to rub, so. We need to take care of that. All right, I went ahead and jacked the car up. I just want to show you what I need to grind down in order to make these wheels fit. These are the wheels off the car. Um, like I said, they're just Ford Star F14s. So that goes straight up to your, uh, this is like a tie rod bolt, but it's for your sway bar. And I need to grind this down. Once I grind this down, I should be able to clear those wheels very easily. Um, I'm kind of worried about a little rubbing right here. I don't really know why that's smooth. Looks like it's already been rubbing, but I hope that doesn't hit as well. But as you can tell, it's extremely hot uh, here in Alabama. I think it's like 87 degrees, but the humidity is just an absolute nightmare during the summer in Alabama. It really sucks to work on the car. So I had a set of quick jacks that I got rid of and I'm really wishing I had them today because getting this thing up and it being so hot was not fun. But like I said, here's the wheels. I'll get that bolt grinded down. We'll see if it works. If it works, great. And we'll go do a, a test ride and see if it works or not. Now that I'm done sweating and everything, the car is back on the ground. 
So here's a here's an outside look at the car with the new wheels. The rear looks really good in my opinion. I think the whole car looks a lot better. But let me go take it for a spin and see if she rubs. That's going to be the main component. Uh, I took it for a test drive. This is a different day, but I took it for a test drive and the rear wheels fit good now, thankfully. Front already fit. Um, it's a little bit wobbly, so I'm going to need to get the rears balanced. But hey, looks great and works exactly how I want it to. So. I think this is a great upgrade for the car. So the next time, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Got a lot of stuff coming.